Uh, it is rare I come to from the national platform to the community platform. And this is an issue about the community called the Gusi community, where I come from. The only symbol from national government downwards for the Gusi community is Shaban. Politics aside, Sports in this country rotates around tribes. All the big clubs are tribal club, clubs in football. Few are corporates like Kenya Breweries, Madara FC, and others. So our club went to play at Ulinzi Sports Complex, a military installation. Everybody was searched. Very few of our supporters were there. The majority were military officers. An eruption erupted, and quite a few of the chairs were damaged. The sports tribunal they have announced that Shabana was guilty. Five questions come to for one. How did they know that the fans who spoiled the chairs was Shaban and they were not KDF? Two, is it because the stadium is owned by KDF, therefore Shabana must be punished? Is Shabana having the same equal status as a football fan team similar to Ulinzi Stars? That is the question we are asking. Four, was there a fair hearing of the people who have been banned not to go and watch football? Lastly, the notice of banning came out yesterday. Over 30,000 fans had been mobilized because this is the first match Shabana is going to play in Kisi Stadium. Who is going to deal with the security risk of removing the over 30,000 fans who have already assembled in Kisi? Two, who is going to refund the expenses? Is the notice reasonable? Agreed with that, we have gone as a community to the sports tribunal. We have filed to challenge that decision. We have gone to six stay of that decision so that the matches proceed as they had been scheduled. We know very well the FKF elections are on the way. This is politics. And we have urged all the leadership of the Gusi community, starting from the governors starting for the members of parliament, starting from the senators, starting from the cabinet secretary, to petition the CS for sports. One, Kipchumba Murkomen, that this is killing the talent and spirit of the sports of young boys and women who are developing football in this country. His Excellency the President should come in because that is destroying the economy of the Kusi community. Very many hotels are booked, reservations, very many mothers from the Kusi community who are going to sell their bananas, going to sell their products to enable their children to go to school. So we have gone to court, the tribunal, and we expect that by tomorrow a decision will come that will help the sports to proceed as it is. Vile nilivosema pekine shadra kataelezea kwa kiswahili ni kwamba we cannot sit and watch when the Gusi emblem what brings us together is destroyed.